Hi guys, welcome to the video tutorial for chapter 5.4.3. Today we're looking at electromagnetic forces. Uh, I think I'm going to be splitting this into two different parts. So this is going to be part one of this video. And we won't be going through all the learning objectives listed here today. Probably going up to roughly about there or so. Okay, so um, the first activity is for you to watch uh, a video of a current carrying wire interacting in a magnetic field. I will leave this in the comments section uh, as uh, maybe video number one. And you guys can check that out. Uh, so check this out in the comments section uh, for what that video will show you. Okay. Um, so hopefully uh, what I would encourage you to do, pause the video now and watch that video and then continue back on here with this current lesson. So you should have seen uh, a magnet uh, and a current carrying wire and a force being generated where the wire was launched away from that. Okay. So symbolically, that's what we see here, that the force is represented by uh, F in the color, in purple color, magnetic field in the color green. So we usually use the letter B to represent the magnetic field. And let me just outline that right now, magnetic field, whoops. Uh, magnetic field. Okay. And so next up, we're gonna, uh, so roughly the explanation here is that uh, when there is a moving current or charges moving uh, and there's a magnetic field, there will be what is called a magnetic force that is experienced, okay? Now normally the wire goes flying because the wire is a lot lighter compared to the magnet, uh, but if the magnet was light enough, um, it's certainly possible to get the magnet to move as well. Okay, um, so what we're seeing now is uh, we want to look at two parallel uh, currents as well as uh, uh, two anti-parallel currents and how these will, this will interact with each other. Uh, there is a follow-up video for this, and I will leave this in the comment section, so make sure you check that out, uh, comment uh, section for video number two, section, okay, and please that check that out for video number two on this. Now, uh, what's going on? I'm going to go through the diagrams of this. Feel free to watch the video before uh, you continue on this particular section. So I've got two different diagrams of uh, a wire in the same direction where the wires are going to be attracting each other. The magnetic force is going to be pulling them towards each other. And we have two opposite directions of current where they are going to be repelling each other, again, due to the uh, electromagnetic force. So uh, in terms of the diagram, uh, I, I drew two diagrams down here to illustrate the two attractive forces here. So in this diagram right here, uh, what we're seeing here is a magnetic field generated by A and a force that's pulling B towards A. So that's indicated by the light purple arrow of the force pulling the wire towards A. In the other diagram over here on the right hand side, uh, in the more lighter green, B is generating a magnetic field and it is interacting with wire A. Uh, and this is, uh, this is, they're both going in the same direction. So the force is being pulled in opposite directions. So if you combined and overlaid both diagrams on top of each other, the forces are then attracting both wires towards each other. And the same diagram could be made for the opposite, uh, for the repelling uh, situation where the current is flowing in the opposite direction. So uh, again, similar idea, but here we have two different magnetic fields from two different wires, and they're both pulling them towards each other, at least in the attraction case. Okay, um, our last learning objective, and this is a pretty difficult topic to understand, is the topic of the um, of looking at how the magnetic force is generated when there is a current and a magnetic field flowing through this, okay? And so I'm gonna focus more on what is called the left-hand rule, LHR, and in some textbooks you might also see this as the right-hand rule for electromagnetic forces as well. Both of them 
will work and both of them are effective for helping you figure things out. Uh, but I will explain a little bit more about this left hand rule uh, along with some uh, questions for you guys to look at a little bit later on. So I'm just going to go over to my camera to look at what this is going to be talking about. Okay, so first up we have our uh, right hand here. So you remember the right hand rule, the thumb represents uh, current or positive charge, conventional current, going in the direction of your thumb. Okay, so wherever, however you're holding your wire, okay, that thumb is pointing in that direction, and that's where positive charges are going. Your other fingers, all of your other fingers are going to wrap around that, okay? And so that was the magnetic field. So this time what we're doing here is we're going to use our left hand instead of our right hand. So this is my left hand. The thumb still represents conventional current, okay? So um, in this particular example with this left hand rule, the thumb will still represent conventional current, okay? Now I'm going to teach this a little bit differently than maybe how some other people are going to do it. Now normally what happens is they like to do something like this where there is, they use your index finger for the force and they use your um, your middle finger for the magnetic field, okay? So this is certainly one way to do it, okay? I'm just going to extend it a little bit. I'm going to use all three fingers, okay? And the reason why I, I like to teach it as having all three fingers, you can obviously drop the other fingers once you're familiar with the left hand rule, is because all three of, all four of these other fingers represent the magnetic field, okay? And so as a result, I like to say most of your fingers, most of your other fingers, so there's three fingers pointing in that direction. This represents your magnetic field, just like it did when you curled it around, okay? So uh, that's why I like to use three fingers to represent that and having all three fingers point in the same direction, okay? Now, your index finger represents the electromagnetic force, okay? So current, magnetic field, okay, and force, okay? Now notice there's quite a few perpendicular lines here. There is this perpendicular between the current, positive charges, and the magnetic force. There is um, this perpendicular here between the electromagnetic force and the magnetic field. And there is also, um, so uh, there is one more, um, perpendicular here as well, okay? If I could somehow move my thumb up, there's also this perpendicular between, how do I do this, okay? Uh, here, between the thumb, sorry, and and these fingers, sorry, I still need to try, try to ring this. Yeah, this perpendicular right here, okay? So perpendicular between these fingers and my thumb, okay? So, uh, there's three different perpendiculars that you should be able to get there, okay? But the important thing to remember is uh, you might need to, uh, I would recommend when you're using this, uh, you can stand up uh, uh, out of your seat sometimes just to get your, uh, you know, don't try to twist your, your, your hand around, okay? Just try to get your hand in a comfortable position where you can point everything together, okay? So let's look at some uh, questions now uh, about the, uh, this electromagnetic force in the left hand rule here. So I'm going to go all the way to the bottom where I've prepared some of these questions for you guys. Okay, so um, there's 10 questions here for you to practice the left hand rule. And there is some answers which I'm going to show you afterwards in this video. So what I would encourage you to do is pause the video now, uh, try out the 10 questions, and then look at the answers. Okay, warning spoiler alert coming ahead. So I'm going to go down to the answers now. Okay, so here are the answers, okay? So um, each of these is according to left-hand rule. Um, so I'll just maybe explain maybe the first two, okay? And maybe I'll also explain questions 9 and 10 as well, which were a little bit more tricky. Okay, so question number one, your thumb is the, uh, is the current. That was the missing part, okay? So question one, number one was you were missing the current, which was your thumb, okay? So what you had to do is use your index finger, which would have represented the force that was going down. And then your other three fingers represent the magnetic field, which is pointing to the, le to the left, okay? And so if you kind of place your hand against the screen, that might make things a little bit easier. And then your thumb kind of points out from your screen towards you, okay? 
That was the direction of the current. Right, question number two. We were missing the magnetic field there, okay? So the force was the index finger. That's pointing out towards you. So you might want to turn your, uh, your screen kind of sideways, okay? Get your index pointing out from your screen. And your current needs to be uh, the other way. So your palm is probably going to be facing up towards maybe the ceiling. Uh, and then, yeah. Um, oh, sorry, no. That magnetic field should actually be going up, shouldn't it? So I think I, I'm just realizing there's a mistake. Okay, uh, force coming out of the page. Yeah, current going. Okay, sorry, no. So there's actually a mistake in the sensor key. Interesting. Good thing I'm going over this right now. Okay, so B is actually going upwards. Okay, force coming out of the page. Yeah, force coming out of the page. Current going that way. Yep. Yep. Magnetic field is going up. Okay, might as well go through all of them. Okay, so question number three. Current going up, magnetic field going into the page. So B going into the page, current going up, force is going to the left. Yep, that looks right. Question number four, um, we have a force going into the page, so that's your index finger. Uh, B is going down, so that's your other three fingers, and your thumb should be pointing. Oh, sorry, no, the force is coming out towards you, isn't it? Force is coming out towards you. And so current going to the left. Right, this is exactly opposite to two. Okay, so that makes sense. Okay, question number five. I is going into the page. Force is going to the uh, right. And then magnetic field going up. That looks right. Okay, question number six. We had the magnetic field going up. And the current going in, uh, coming out towards you. So thumb is pointing towards you. Magnetic field going up. Force going to the left. That looks good. Question number seven. Uh, force going up. So that's your index finger going up. Magnetic field coming towards you. That means the current is going to the left hand side. That looks good. Question number eight. Uh, force going into the page. Current going down. Magnetic field going to the left, that looks good. Okay. Now questions 9 and 10 are a little bit uh, challenging because it's giving you a negative current, which means this is the, the, the direction of electrons flow, which means what you need to do, you need to take an extra step, which means the positive charges are going in the opposite direction. Okay. So uh, for this question, right, you need to sort of uh, take an extra step. Okay. And so the current is going into the page for question 9, that's your thumb going into the screen. Magnetic field going down. That means the force is going to be going to the left, which is what I've got there. Okay, and for question number 10 uh, is we were given the current going to the left. That's your thumb. Index going down, which means the magnetic field is going to be going into the page. Okay, so that's the, the explanation for all the answers. Right. Uh, hopefully you did pretty well, uh, at least in most of these. Um, and we are going to leave it here for today, guys. We will talk about the calculations in the follow-up video to this. See you guys next time.